All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a combi that's currently set up with a split and split everything out of the combi. That way you have things um, completely segregated. So for example, if you wanted to have, in this case, I've got this blinded by the light song and it's got a bunch of parts. So it's got like the climb, like if you press and hold it, So you can, you can do that, then there's this part. And then up top you have the voices. Well, if you wanted to separate those, instead of having them all within one combi, you might ch choose to have them in setless mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to split those up. So, first things first. Knowing that they are three different sounds, so there's this one, then there's the climb, and then there's the, the main part. I'm going to basically copy this three times. So I'm going to have blinded by the light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to say right combination. And I'm going to put it in a different section. So I'm going to put it here. We'll hit OK. And then I'm going to do that one more time. In, a, in another place. There we go. So now what I've done is when you look at my set list, you'll notice that I've got three blinded by the light. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to basically mute the other voices. So right now I'm pressing where the voices should be. There. So the voices are gone. So I've got only just the, the sound. Okay. That's one way to do it. Um, all you're really doing is you're just muting the voices. Um, what you may choose to do as well is you may choose to remap it. So to remap it, I personally, if it were me, I would just do that. I would just mute those two channels and then save it. There. But you may wish to remap it. So to remap it, what you need to do, right now this is just the blinded by the light main sound. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go into MIDI and reassign the control, the control MIDI channel. So right now you'll notice it goes like five, six, seven, and eight. Well, what that means is that track five is only triggered by MIDI channel five. In this case, because the keyboard triggers on channel one right now. Channel 1 is being controlled by the keyboard, so when you play on channel 1, this, whatever is on this voice is getting triggered. So if I were to put that back up to 3, and go over to the next one, change that to 4, well now those voices won't get triggered whatsoever. And you could take it a step further and remove the pitch mapping, and even go into your zones, so in this case your keyboard zones, and change it back to... G9, whoops, and uh, C minus one, there, and do that with everything. There, so it's almost as though we've never done anything, and and even even further, you could even reassign uh, this back to like zero 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 in user uh, internal A, the same way everything else would be. If you were to go so far as to do that, I mean, you certainly can. And now it's like these, there, we'll put the volume back up. And we can now safely unmute those. And it's just like they never existed. So it's basically undoing all the work. Again, sooner I would just unpress the buttons that said play, and that'll more or less mute the channels. So that's one way of doing it. So now I've got blinded by the light, and I'm gonna rename this. I might not have enough space here. Yeah, I'm running out of space, so. There. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. There. So I've got blinded by the light, main sound. Okay, so now I've got one combi just for that. And I'm gonna go to the next combi. So blinded by the light. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute those first two channels. Now I don't have that main sound anymore. You can kind of see it in the bottom of the, the video that I'm playing them, but nothing's coming out. 
Okay. So now maybe I just want the pitch slide up. So again, I could just mute those, but if you wanted to have it so that the, the slide up happens in the middle of the keyboard, let's say you want it to, to occur on middle C. Well, currently it's assigned elsewhere, so we need to assign it to the middle C key. So for example, here, I've got it, because I've got it on the lowest, uh, lowest key on the keyboard on an 88 key, it's minus 39, so I'm gonna set that to zero which means it'll occur in the middle of the board. But now when I go into MIDI, let me actually just set this to a four and two, and maybe I'll set this to two as well. That way I'm not accidentally triggering anything else. When I go into my MIDI zones, I need to take it off of A0 because it's channel three that this slide up is working on. So I need to take it off of A0 and I'm gonna currently assign it to C4. Now the way I did that just now, there's a, a way to quick assign keys. If you hold enter and then press the key, for example, if I want this A0 to become C4, I can press and hold on the enter key on the keyboard, like on the, um, on the panel here on the right, and then press C on the keyboard and it'll assign it that way. So now when I press C on the keyboard, the C4 key, and then my joystick down, So that's good to go. And I can say right combination. Now currently this is just assigned to the C4 key. So notice if I press here, nothing happens. And if I press the B here, nothing happens. It's only the C. Okay. So you may choose to do that. You may want to purposely have it assigned through a spread of keys, in which case you can just increase the zone like this, like so. So now if I press on B flat, Okay, you get the idea. So now we have Blinded by the Light, and I'm gonna rename this a little bit, Blinded by the Slide. Let's do that. Oops. And I'm gonna note that it's C4 that you need to press. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, we need to adjust the voices. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move those to the middle of the keyboard right around here near C4. So it'll be B flat, you know, B flat to F4 or B flat four to F flat or F4, not F flat. You know what I'm saying, okay. Uh, same idea as before. Let's get rid of these three channels, don't need them. Uh, I might choose to turn the volume on this all the way up. It depends on how you wanna have it mixed. I previously had this mixed so that you could play them all as performance altogether, but you don't have to have it that way. And so now I've got my voices and nothing else happens when I play anywhere else. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reassign the zone. So when I go to my zones, I'm gonna spread it across the whole keyboard. And now I need to change the pitch. So if I go to, um, I guess it's timbre parameter and I go to pitch, I can change it from minus 24 to zero. So now what happens is I've got this whole Okay, you get the idea. Um, yeah, so now I've got my separate voices by, uh, by a new parameter as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go right, and I'm gonna say blinded by the voices. I'm so creative with my, my naming. Here we go. Okay, so that's the first step. So now we have, if I go to combi one here, Oh, sorry, my, my initial user D blinded by the... I've got that. Okay, I can go to the next one. Okay, so I've got that. I've got the next one. Now what you may want to do is because you might have them... Play, like when you're, when you're playing the piece, when you're playing the song, you may want to put this in set list mode. So let's take a quick look at set list mode then because we're almost getting at 10 minutes in the video. Um, first things first, I'm going to assign the sound that I want in the first order that it shows up in. So I believe Blinded by the Light starts with, um, I think it starts with that organ stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to edit this program slot. I'm going to change it from program to setup, or in this case combi, sorry, I'm using Kurzweil logic that's been burned into my brain for many, many years. Um, 
Kurzweil has um, setups, not combis, so that's where that that's what I'm referencing. So blinded by the main, so that's the first sound that pops up, and I might choose to give it a different color. There we go. And what happens is by using it this way, this is going to pull all the sounds and and insert effects and all that stuff. It's going to use the combi exactly as is. So the next one you could choose maybe is um, instead of blinded by the light, instead of that sound, it's or this sound. Instead of that sound, maybe the next sound is going to be, well, I actually happen to know that the next sound is also going to be a combi. And I know that it's also going to be um, the slide up that that this, that one, that this, I know that's that's incredibly descriptive, uh, that this. <laughs> so let's give it a different color. So far, so good. And then maybe the next thing is going to be, uh, let's say an organ sound. Well, I didn't create an organ sound specifically for Blinded by the Light, so maybe you want to choose um, a particular organ sound. Let's see if I can find one quickly here. There we go. I knew it was around here somewhere. There. Sure. So now what's happened is I've got blinded by the light, a combi. I've got this um, slide up, that thing. And then the one right after it is a program. I don't know that I'd actually use this organ. I'd probably find a better one, but I wanted to illustrate the point. And let's save this really quickly. Sure. Now, one of the things that I've done is I've set my second foot pedal. So I've got I've got a foot pedal here. Ta-da! It's plugged in, and I've set this foot pedal actually to be attached to my uh, switch pedal. So I say switch, but it's the switch plug-in on the, on the back of the Kronos. So when I click this, you'll notice it steps through the sequences. That way, when I'm playing, I can be hands-free. So I can be going, um, I can go. So I, I can switch sounds without needing to lift my hands off the keyboard at all, which is fantastic. And one of the big features of the Kronos uh, and, and is really useful is that you can hold a chord and then switch to a new sound and then switch to another sound right so one of the neat features so uh, since I'm talking about that let me show you where you do that so under global I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere um, because I, I said it a long time ago, and then I just never really touched it ever again. I want to say it's under MIDI? Maybe it's not. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So, <laughs> I hit the global key, or the global button, and under controllers slash scales, under the controllers pane, there's an option here that says foot switch assign. And so right now my foot switch is currently assigned to program up. So you can do a bunch of different things with it. Uh, you could trigger karma or, you know, make it a foot switch. But in this case, I said program up. And then once you make that change, you say write global setting. So it remembers it. But now what happens is anywhere in the keyboard, whether I'm in program mode or I'm in combi mode or I'm in set list mode, Hitting that foot switch is the same as hitting program up, and that allows you to step through sequences. Or, well, not sequences, rather, but um, sounds. So, either way, uh, I hope that you found this video useful. Uh, it was a little bit short. It didn't really get into the programming side as much as it was just rearranging things, but um, maybe this is something that you're already familiar with, but if it's not, I hope you found it useful. Either way, uh, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.